Saturday. What it up? Happy Saturday morning. Um, hey, bright and early. Um, it's 7.30 in the morning. Um, only for like people like me and in my age group to be like sleep in. But, um, so yeah, I'm on my way to work right now. Um, it should be a good day. At least I'm working with my best friend to that make it a battle. I've always made it better. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be a good day, hopefully. It's gonna be a bad day too, if you not know what I mean. <laughs> Buffalo Book Patriot faked off today at 4 30 in the middle of the path of the triple header. Let's go, Buffalo. I, I, honestly, I, I feel like we have a good solid chance of beating the Patriots because, yeah, their defense is good, but they, they're fluttering on offense. They can't do anything on offense. So, with that being said, I think we have a slow, huge chance to come out on top. And, if we win today, and then we win next week in Buffalo, then New York yet. And Patriot Tom Brady lose to Miami. Hopefully Ryan Fitzpatrick, a former tort trial to be, can do his last Fitzpatrick magic for Buffalo and make a big upset for that Tom Brady and make that if that happened then we can win the division this year. And that would just set the tone to Patriot and to the whole entire world that Buffalo is not healthy right now. What they, what we've been doing in the off season with hiring Sean McDermott and Brandon Bean and bringing in all the free agents and going after the young guy in the draft or young guy in the free agent even. And then all the tap bait that we have. All that, we are literally setting up for the death, for the future. We will be dominating very soon. I, I can trust you that. My, I will. I promise you that we Buffalo will be dominating pretty damn soon. So yeah, um, so I'm just gonna continue five to work and get this shift over with and make it a good one with my best friend. Hopefully it will be. Hopefully America don't spend too much money. Do you know that they might? do that because in America they can't go without spending some kind of money but yeah so continue with me on the drive to work Hey Dai, I just want to pop on here and give you a little update. Um, so I'm home, I got home from work, and man, was that a long day, um, a busy day. Even like driving to work. Well, like, it wasn't too bad because I drove bright and early this morning, but like after work, oh my God, there was so much laughter. Ridiculous. Like, at least I'm done with all my Christmas shopping at the uh, right now, but like still, like oh my god, it was so busy. My traffic is horrible. How do people go out shopping the last weekend before Christmas? Like it's the same thing like last Friday. Like how did I do it? Because I 
I can't. I, like, I went out shopping for Black Friday twice. And there was time where I go in the store and I grab like one or two items. And then we go to stand in line and we just like, is it really worth it? No, it's not. So we put we put the item back and we just laugh because we don't want to stand in that long line. Like how do people do that? People are not. Maybe some mail though. Maybe some mail to thing. But man, why? Why would you want to do that? Spend all your day or all your night on Black Friday or your weekend, especially like the busiest weekend, like this weekend. Standing in line, waiting to be checked out. Like, why? Why would you want to do that? It's insane what a male to do. And then they do the Dunkin' Donut or they do the Tim Horton or something and order the whole entire menu because they don't, they're too lazy to make their own food. Or should I say, make their own healthy food? Should I say that? Like, once in a while, it's okay, but like, Doing everything the day if you did today. And also, if you do go to like Dunkin' Donut or something, make sure you know what you order and make sure um, you know what it looks like every time you did it. Because like, people don't know what they order. Like, they order something and then they did it and then they like, I didn't got that. That's not mine. Can we make that? Like, no, you order it. That's exactly how you order it. So, maybe you're forgetting something or you're not remembering your whole entire order. Like, remember your order. It's ridiculous. Like, or don't be that customer who be rude and nasty Well, you order something, you did it, and then you're like, oh... That's not my order. This is horrible. It tastes bad. Can you can I get a refund? Can I get a remake? Can I get free food? Don't be that customer. Really? I hate those customers. Those, no. Like, it's not my fault that you order those things and you don't know what it is. Like, or like the whole thing with, uh, you guys probably know what macchiato is. It's espresso and then you can nearly see a layer below it on mo. So it's a layer thing. It's not supposed to be mixed it up. But so many people spend the money to get a macchiato at like any of these toffee spots. And then they mixed it up. Like if you're going to do that, order a latte. That's what a latte is. So technically, if, you, if you're one of those persons who order a macchiato and then you mix it up. Then you should just order a latte. It's exactly exactly what a latte is. It's like people are just stupid. They're just stupid. Why? Anybody know what I'm talking about? Leave it down below. But then, if we did today, especially if you work in like food service, you would know it for sure. Like people are just nasty. They're rude. They tell too much about taste out. They tell too much about food. Not even healthy food. It's not even good food to like spend your money on, honestly. Just saying, it's not. Like, if you work at any places, like, you can ask any of my friends, you can ask my best friend anything. They will always say the same thing. Like, it's not really worth spending all that money, everything a day at, like, Dunton or something. Like, especially if you, like, order food, like, it's not that good. You can definitely go somewhere else and get better food by far. Like, go to a diner or something like that. Like, go to Dunkin' and get a toffee, but then don't order the food. Or, like, to people who go to the drive and order a box of show or they order, like, 50 million items, like, don't inside, park your car, get out of your car, don't inside, don't, don't feel like why it's real. It's just, America are lady, they're just really lady. Lady and rude. Maybe it's a New York thing. 
because we never see the sunshine. So if we do see the sunshine, it's like, oh my God, the sun out. Normally it's like cloudy and gray and gloomy and then people are rude and don't add each other. It's like, my God. All right. I think I talked way too much on that, so that's my update for you guys. I will probably hop on later after the build game and close out the video so I can get up tonight. Because I don't want to make it too long. So I'll see you in the next clip. For you, it be like literally right now, but for me, it's going to be a couple of hours. Bye. Hey, Dai. Um, I'm your shot Dan. Um, well, we didn't do it. But I thought it day. It was a good game. Um, we definitely came back. Definitely at halftime. And then we came out at halftime playing really good until the end of the game. Like, we, yeah. Um, but we only lost by a touchdown. That's not bad. And actually, we were about to tie it and try to go to four or two, but we just couldn't do it. But the good thing about this is we can still be 11-5 on the 2019 season. And the second good thing is we definitely made a hard fought battle between Patriot and the Baltimore Ravens, which both of them are in the playoff. So are we, so we could potentially have another rematch between any of those teams if we do well. Because you never know. Play playoff is a whole different environment, a whole different scenario than um staying um it's a whole different scenario than what it could be in the well of season. Like it's a whole different scenario. I know you probably already know that, but it is. But not even that we also made a statement today um saying to the Patriot to the NFL, to people in America, or even a Foster Warren, that Buffalo is a real we Buffalo is a real deal, and that would mean watch out, like watch out for them. They're on. They're making something happen with that organization, the toss change in Buffalo, trusting the process. That young team, that physical team, that top third defense, like they're making something happen. So you better watch out because it's coming soon when we're gonna be able to just own it. Like I'm maybe not sure in 2020 or even I'm thinking 2021, but I don't know. It, it's coming. Watch out. I'm just saying we made a statement and it's coming. So with that being said, um, I think I'm going to end the vlog there. I'm going to go take a shower, wash my face because I kind of need to wash my face. I have a couple of parts that are like breaking out. So it's good to go wash my face now that I actually have face wash. Which I swear I had two more bottles somewhere, but honestly I don't know where I put them. Maybe I didn't buy two more bottles. Because I think the last time I bought them, I, I thought I bought three. So I didn't have bath up. But I definitely must have only bought one because I don't know where the other two went. Which is real. Like, I, why do I think I bought three, but now I can't find them? Uh, but so yeah, I'm gonna go take a shower. Um, and then I'm gonna probably edit the video. And yeah, so I'm gonna end it, but I think before I'm gonna end it, I'm gonna show you what I got in the talent though for the next day, so you guys can see that. And now we show you where Snowball ended up. So, day oh, two. It, we, got, we are on day eight, and it looks like, it looks like the Toy Story wallpaper or whatever. Maybe it's somebody from Toy Story, let's see. You wanna time it down below? It is, a pair of stuff from Toy Story. We did that Woody. What do you think? Is it bug? If I can open this. Oh, I'm right. It is Toy Story. But it's uh, 
blue dye in the bounty ball. Interesting. We got four more left. We're almost there, Dad. If you like Italian down for Christmas. Are you like ready for Christmas? I'm 85% ready. Not quite. What about you, Dad? Tell me down below. I just found Snowball and I think she's already getting ready to celebrate uh, 2019 and win in 2020. Because um, I think she's getting really little. I think she already passed Christmas. No, Ball, you still got to go for Christmas. We haven't celebrated Christmas yet. What are you doing? You know, the silly magical elf. You wouldn't know what I'm talking about, when you? Yeah, she is. She put herself in a tub, standing up, and she got a Nashville shot laugh. I think she's trying to pretend to have a big party or something with the light. I don't even know. Tell me down below what you guys think she is doing. She's up to no good. She's up to no good. All right, guys. That is the blog for day 20. Full of blog, man. Wow. Day 20. Full. Sheesh. And I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy the flipper header of football if you're a football fan. Even if you're not, I'm sure you tune into that bell thing. Um, and be ready for more football tomorrow. We did more football. We did a Sunday. We did why not? Um, but yeah. So with that being said, I just want to let you guys know that make sure you find your magic moment. Believe in yourself. Be yourself. Make sure you're happy. Find those people that make you happy. Find that friend group that will support you and make you happy. And will ha always have your back. Because those are good friends with the keep, in, keep around. And then with that, I just want to let you guys know that all everything the person in this world, it doesn't matter who you are, it doesn't matter where you are in life, you are worth it. And I'm not lying. You are worth it. No matter what. You can do whatever you can to put you, when you put your mind to it. Just go out there and do what makes you happy. Don't follow that passion. We all have a passion. If it's nothing, if it's being an influencer, if it's inspiring people, if it's marketing, if it's only a business, it, uh, being there for other people, traveling the world, just having fun, just go out there and live. Just live. Live. That's the one thing we don't do very often. We we don't live life how we're supposed to be living life. We really don't. We should dad. Because we all... Because we all think... Because I know a lot of people don't have a lot of money. I don't have a lot of money. My friend don't have a lot of money. But like, you know... We take that seriously and like we have family and all that telling us that oh you need money for this you need to start saving you need to do that like honestly that is true and you should do that but also at the same time you want to have fun because you never know when that day come and the thing that I'm te that I told you if you follow my other social media is you're not gonna be buried with money or surrounded by money. Money's gonna be staying here. Money's gonna just disappear when you're gone. It's literally just gonna be, oh, you're gone. No more money for him. It's not going with you. So we need to just make sure we are enjoying life to the fullest. Making sure we're doing the thing we are doing and making sure we're doing it with the people that make us happy. That's really what it's about. We will see you tomorrow in day 22nd of Vlogmas. Bye! <laughs>